In the last video, I didn't have any files in my folders, so I didn't really cover things as well as I should have. I'll try to make up for that in this video. Before starting this video, I downloaded a few files from my website. I'm going into my Downloads folder. We see some files from my LibreOffice Calc series, my LibreOffice Writer series, my LibreOffice Draw series, as well as my LibreOffice Base series. I also downloaded the 300 pixel pictures I created for the LibreOffice Base series. And I unzipped this file into my Pictures folder. Going back to Downloads, I'm in the List view. Remember, we can change this from the drop down. We got icon view back into list view. And from here, I can sort these files by name by clicking in the name area. It's sorted in ascending order. ODB is at the top. Clicking it again, we see the arrow pointing up. So this is in descending order with the ODT at the top. We can also sort this by the size, by the type, or the date modified which in this case was my date downloaded. We see the different types, Open Document Spreadsheet, Open Document Text, Open Document Drawing, ODB Database, and we also have a zip file. I'm going to change the view to be Icon View, and I want to sort these as well, but I don't have a button to sort these by. To sort our files in Icon View, I need to go into View, Arrange Icons, and I can sort them by name, size, type, modification date. They also have manually by emblems. We've got the compact layout and reverse order, which is just the ascending descending order. I am going to sort these manually. And I'm going to move all my databases to the lower right corner. My LibreOffice draw files to the lower left. and databases to the lower right, lower right. I'll put the zip file in the center, my spreadsheets on the top right, and my writer documents up here on the left. Now I'm going to go into the pictures. That's also in icon view. I'm going to increase this view to make these 200%. I'm going to use my back button to take me back to the icon view in our downloads and we see that it holds the manual arrangement I did with my files. If I change the view to list view and go into compact view, when I come back to icon view, it still holds those file positions the way that I manually set them. And going back into the pictures, we see that it holds this at the 200% where our downloads are still at the 100%. So not only does it hold the file positions, it holds the magnification that I set as well. Now I'm going into compact view. I want to organize these, so I'm going into view, arrange icons. I can do them by name, size, type, modification date, or by emblems. I have a very important file out here. We will call it the Junction Table Database. I'm going to right click on that, go into Properties, and the second tab here is Emblems. I want to set an emblem, this important one, and we see that the file now has that important emblem attached to it. I can close this, and if I sort this by emblems, it puts this at the bottom because I've got that reverse sort order on. Let me take that back off. We see it takes the important file right to the top. I want to add an emblem to the floor plan. So I'm going to right click on that. Properties, emblems, and I will add the emblem development. We see just checking that put it right to the top because we sorted by emblem. I can also add the important personal, web, marketing, download, default, 
no right plan you see I've added quite a few and after we have two or three emblems there's so many that it doesn't really make sense I'm going to close this now I want to add an emblem to the word wrap the pie charts and the sort random order so I've selected all three I'm right clicking going into properties emblems and I will add the emblem for art we see all three of them have the emblem so I will click close there is another way to add emblems to our files that's over on this sidebar drop-down I'm going to click on that and select emblems and I will add this danger file to the employee database notice that it's going to place the emblem where the hand is not necessarily where the emblem is and we see we've got our danger symbol right up here if I drag this onto that same file once again it removes the emblem we also have this eraser at the top the eraser will erase all of the emblems off a file I'm going to click on the eraser and move it over the floor plan that has all the emblems that I put on there earlier there's at least four that I can see and notice the hand is on the file name so this will erase where the hand is at not necessarily where the eraser is the eraser looks like it's on the file below and it erased all the emblems so if you want to erase a single emblem off a file you want to drag that emblem or uncheck it from the properties emblems tab but if you want to remove a lot of emblems quickly use the eraser in the sidebar now I'm going back into places and into my documents folder I've got a single folder there called untitled I'm going to rename this to be on time now I'm going to add another file and I will call this one maybe late I'm going to add one more and I will call this one I'm going to make this all caps because this one needs attention now the capitals on there makes it stand out a little bit but we have a better way to make this file stand out I'm going to right click and change the file color to red the on time will be green and the maybe late we're going to change that file color to yellow so we've got our green red and yellow I'll move the yellow over to the right and we see it doesn't move I'm in the icon view I better go into arrange items manually now I can move the yellow and the green so we got the green on the left red on the right and the yellow in the middle to make these stand out a little more I can also add in emblems I'll add art to the maybe late and danger to the needs attention once again we're at a good breaking point I'm going to stop here and we'll continue looking at the Kaha file manager in the next video if you like these videos please tell a friend